tonight on Man and Machine. Feel free to scream. No one will hear you. liter four-cylinder turbocharged engine i'd say approximately 162 horsepower can i drive i don't know can you i have both the daytona and grand prix programs in my heuristics help get that out of here Right, Jeff. What do we miss? Male, socio group 1B, 5 feet 11 inches, weight undetermined. 25 to 30 years of age. He had been in the bay approximately three days. All internal organs had been removed, and the interior of the torso loaded with gravel and wire shut. Same MO as the Williams girl. The Williams girl? It happened about a month before you got here. Before that, there was Samson, Tompkins, Farrell, Levine. A half a dozen murders dating back almost two years. Why the removal of organs? You got any idea what a good spleen goes for in the black market? I can only assume it's quite valuable. A buddy of mine sold his to put both his kids through college. We thought for a while it was some ritualistic psycho killer, but then we found that several of the organs wound up in the hands of a local broker. I brought him in, he got a lawyer, made bail, and vanished into smoke. 
at any rate, young, healthy people are being murdered for parts. I want you on this high priority until we find something. Mid-twenties, educated, athletic, health conscious. Not exactly a random sampling of the public, but there are at least 30,000 just like them in this precinct alone. They were all new to the city. Murders occur within three months after they moved to L.A. Significance? Not long enough to develop close friendships, business ties, romantic entanglements. Less likelihood for investigative pressure in the absence of substantive relationships. If you were cruising for organs, where would you look? Athletic dormitory? Nice try. Except the victims were all out of the age range. National health? One could easily access their database. We find out a list of those with good organs. How big are we talking? Low millions. I don't think we got that kind of time. Need to go through a side door. Occupational linkage? I'm game. Insurance, advertising, satellite sales, nothing unusual. Company affiliations? The standard dating services, psychiatric support group, alcohol and nicotine withdrawal clinics, health clubs. Health clubs? I like the sound of that. Executive and entry-level discounts at the New Age Health Association. How many franchises? 42. Shall I do a breakdown by victim? Yeah. 10 to 1 says each victim came from a different franchise. You're right. The murderer was careful not to duplicate origin in the choice of victim. Real pro. We could just figure out the pattern. A pattern can be superimposed on any set of numbers. Watch. Wait, you're going to guarantee me the next victim is the franchise 14? Guarantee? Of course not. The margin of error is a few points in a million. I guess we better get there fast. We? What? You, you don't want to be seen with me in shorts? It's just that these upscale clubs are known to have extremely high standards for admission. You're talking to a real athlete here. I was all city in Babe Ruth. You do know who Babe Ruth was. Of course I do. A candy bar. We can do a lot for you here. We can make you strong. We can keep you young. That's why people fight to get in here. That's why people consider it a privilege to be a part of New Age. Show off. I hope you're not disappointed if you're rejected. I consider it an honor. This whole body obsession thing makes me sick. Sick? Yeah, you, you work out this much, and you get brain rot. The last thing I want to do is look like that. The musculature is quite unique. He recalls certain statuary of 5th century Greece. I'll tell you something else. Women do not find that sort of thing attractive. No? No, it's a complete turnoff. Are you sure about that? This guy interests you? Very much. As a murder suspect. What do you mean? These clubs strongly discourage romance between members. Strictly business, huh? Extremely. Violators are subject to non-refundable dismissal. Ooh. Sounds like a little exercise to kickstart the old uh, appetite. But is that what you should be eating after a workout? A little meat every now and then never hurt anybody. Technically, they haven't met the definition of meat since 1995. I'm finished. You want the other half? Sure.
40 minutes and counting. Perhaps I was wrong. I, I gotta trust your gut instinct. As in stomach? As in first, initial, primal. Technically speaking, I don't have gut instincts. But you can learn. From you, in which case I'll have your gut instincts. I got enough to go around. Perhaps it was nothing but a casual conversation. A mild flirtation, occupational networking. You don't second guess the gut instinct. You trust the gut instinct like a friend. You stick with it to the bitter end. What, a year, a month, a day? 41 minutes. Here they come. Hey, hey, it's 6.15 in the Megalopolis, and you're with Brazen Borzoi on the Tower of Morning Power, Radio Free LA. They haven't found us yet, so we're still broadcasting. I've got the new John Candy Ooh. exercise hologram for the first five people to show up naked on a free... They went out after midnight, rented a movie. How'd you know that? We followed them to the restaurant, then we went to Disc Buster. I slept the whole time? It was the exercise. Must have been a shock to your system. I must have hit my head back at the gym. No, I had to take a corner particularly fast. Oh, what the, what's the flick? Something called body heat. Maybe we should take a look. This probably isn't a very good time to view a film. At the house. Hey, we're going Don't on. Don't tell me gut instinct. It seems to me, Captain, there's a very fine line between gut instinct and animal instinct. You no doubt have a backup plan. Um. Well, perhaps we should go at it through a side door. Yeah, that was my thinking. What particular side door did you have in mind? Well, I, uh, I thought maybe we'd, uh, try and crack the black market. By yourself. Bye. Got anybody in mind who could open the side door? Burn Rooter. Burn Rooter? Burn Rooter. Burn Rooter? I thought he was dead. He's an old cop. I didn't want to bring up his name because he and Clyde wanted to always see eye to eye. Burn Rooter! <laughs> Still alive. You still got that silly haircut? Of course I do. I still got that silly gun. A real man carries a real gun. How many times I gotta tell you, Burn Rooter, the modern man is not concerned with the size of his gun. Who's she? Another gal from the mud wrestling joint? This is my new partner, Eve Edison. We've got a rash of murders on our hands. They're gutting the bodies for parts. So what else is new? Clyro wants us to break it. I figured I'd go undercover and try and make a buy. We need a broker. I suppose we can always get our information from Captain Claghorn. Claghorn? You don't learn to be no detective from the brass. Nice lady. Great captain, but no detective. Hey, Bernard. How many transplants have you had? You don't count heart seven. One liver, both kidneys, lungs, pancreas, pituitary, bone marrow. I must have been out of my mind. 
I don't understand. They kept you alive. For what? I was ready to kick ten years ago. Now I gotta go on living and living and living for who knows how long. Until these transplants run out of juice and I can die. Where would we start if we wanted to get in the market? There's a broker named Ruby. Once a medical examiner from out of state turned renegade. What are you gonna ask for? I don't know. I... Kidney, liver, spleen. If you're lucky, you'll get a play in three weeks, a month on the outside. Another murder may be about to happen. We need to move faster. Get a testicle. A testicle? Are you kidding me? Do you want speed? It's the only way to go. There's a premium on them. Because of their value in propagation? Bingo. Also, no guy wants to admit he has to have a testicle unless he needs one. The testicle has some special significance between males? Was he serious about wanting to die? Bet he is. You care about him very much. Boy, he's worth in parts. Isn't there something you can do? I try and beat him at checkers every Tuesday. Why? I figure if I, if I beat him bad enough, he'll want to stay alive till the following Tuesday just to get revenge. He lives for revenge? Right now, he's got nothing else. Listen, I gotta try and make this buy. You go back and wait for me at the precinct. I'm not going with you? No. I think I'll do this alone. Are you embarrassed about making the testicle purchase? Why would I be embarrassed? I really don't know. It's a body part like any other. The testicle is more or less the heart of the male ego. So the testicle and the heart are linked? No, no, no. It's just sort of representative. The, the sense of male power, male identity is bound up in that one organ? Uh, two, to be accurate. So... So, that if the male is deficient by one, he feels, well... Half a man. Captain, I find this bizarre. How's that, E? Well, if you were going to choose an organ to represent maleness, I would think you would choose a large organ, and certainly not the smallest. Uh, the smallest? By far. Oh, so the male is basically unconcerned with size. Um, well, that's another much longer discussion. I'd like to uh, see Mr. Ruby. Walk this way. <laughs> Nice monkey, isn't it? Robot. This was the last place on the boulevard to have the real thing, and now they're all robots. They say you can't tell the difference. I can. My name is uh, Shane. 
Fort Walter shape. I've been told that perhaps you could uh, help me. Yeah, with what? The festival. The left, to be precise. <laughs> perhaps you'd care to share the joke. Uh, no joke, Walt. I just think you've got me mixed up with somebody else. I do animal parts, all legal, not the human stuff. I'm prepared to pay a premium. $40,000. 50 to start with. It'll cost more depending on uh, blood type, antigens, hormonal balance, but Scott... Hey, 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 not here. Besides, I didn't say I was going to do anything. I was just making casual conversation about a hypothetical deal. A wife is desperate for a child. I haven't been able to oblige you. What was your name again? Walt? Well, Walt, I can get you something nice off a mid-sized dog, a whip bit, a spaniel. A dog? And the missus will never know the difference, I promise you. You can tell her it once belonged to a fighter pilot. <laughs> How did it go? Not so good. I traced Ingrid and Tony back from the health club. The girl, Ingrid, fits the profile perfectly. Single, mid-twenties, college squash player, works in commercial real estate. Like you said, she's one of 300,000. She didn't show up at work today. Maybe she and the Greek god slept in. She didn't answer the phone. You called her? Several times. Representing myself as a local radio station with an all-expenses-paid trip to the Alaskan Riviera. Well, maybe she's the old-fashioned type who likes uh, Hawaii. You check the health club? Absent for the first time in two weeks. I gotta tell you, Tony uh, does not look like a killer. I have a gut instinct that something is very wrong. Then let's go back to English place. Do you think they're still mating? <laughs> came home. We left a patrol car to watch the house. They haven't carved up the body yet, and sure as hell not gonna move him in broad daylight. Besides, Captain, even if we nailed the chick, it wouldn't solve a thing. Nailed the chick? She really should watch less TV. So, why haven't they carved him up yet? He's in a cerebral mortar condition. Brain dead. By keeping the body functioning after death, the organs can be preserved Perfect. indefinitely. Copy that. It's not a solo operation. There's a uh, body disposal, organ removal, sales, financing. It takes people. So what's option number one? Go back to the well. Ruby? I go with my main man here. If we can make contact with Mr. Big before they dump the hunk, we might be able to sucker him with a moolah. I see. Look, we got to get them all. I understand. It's just that... What? What? If you were planning to use burn rooter on this, you may have to rethink. What happened? Paramedics called about an hour ago. He's had a mild heart attack. Are you all right? 
Never better. I'm finally dying. Just wish it wouldn't take so long. I don't mean to criticize Mr. Bernroder, but if you really are dying, shouldn't you utilize the time you have? How you figure? Well, since life is finite. Uh, that's where you're wrong, little sis. Life used to be finite. But ever since the transplant boom, we live on and on, far past our usefulness. Is there anything I can do? Yeah, get out of here. I want to talk to the kid here. What's this? It's about my ashes, and I don't want any grief from you. So how did the purchase go? Struck out. If you're going to get that thing fast, you're going to have to convince Ruby you are a truly desperate man. What do you mean? Bring the little woman along. Lay it on thick. Then what? What are you talking about? Who do I ask for, Bernruder? Dr. Clive Richards. Why didn't you tell me sooner? You planning on messing with Richards? You better have a bigger gun, Bobby. A much bigger gun. I must say, Ingrid, the health club has really been a bonanza. He's beautiful, isn't he? Quite. I had an instinct about him from the first moment I laid eyes on him. His complexion was flawless. From the mountains? Mm. Born and raised in the Rockies at about 8,000 feet. Light air, pure water. He'd only been in Los Angeles about six weeks. You've outdone yourself. Not yet. Don't tease me. Is there a new candidate? the best I've ever seen. A level of perfection so rare, it was almost inhuman. You should get to know him. <laughs> it's not a him. It's a her. <laughs> Something special I should do? You stick to the script. I'll cue you when to come on. <laughs> Mr. Ruby, my wife. Mr. Ruby, I'd like to continue yesterday's discussion. As I remember, you did all the talking. Mr. Ruby, we have tried everything to have a child, but nothing has worked. You are our last hope. Sure, but only if you name the kid after me and give me 10% of his allowance. That can be arranged. What's she talking about? Well, my wife comes from a very wealthy family. To be perfectly honest, our participation in the family fortune rests on our ability to produce an heir. Oh, so that's it. What do you mean? Oh, come off it, pal. I knew the minute I laid eyes on you, you were lying through your teeth. Come on, honey, let's get out of here. Oh, sensitive, aren't we? You have to understand, Mr. Ruby, this has been quite an ordeal for my husband. His associates have been particularly unkind. You don't know what it's like to be the company laughingstock. What's his blood type? A positive. Fifty. And I don't make any guarantees and I don't provide replacement parts. Just give us the time and the place. Today. What's a big rush? I don't know quite how to put this, Mr. Ruby. But in order for conception to take place, there is a critical time.
meet you in the back alley at six o'clock. Have the money. Here you go. Your bankroll. And don't spend it all on one organ. I'll guard it with my life. Good, because whatever you lose gets deducted from your salary. While man makes the buy, I'll cover Ingrid's house. Oh, uh, what about backup? Too risky. We only got one shot at this. Blow tonight, we have to wait for another victim. I meant for Eve. I've already taken care of it. Mr. Bernloader? Mr. Bernloader. Uh, uh, go away. I, I don't need anything. It's Eve, man's partner. Huh? Oh, what do you want? I think man may be in trouble. How's that? He went to make the buy, but he insisted on going without backup. Well, that's the only way to go, sweetheart. I understand that. It's just that I have to stake out the killer, and I usually have man to back me up. Yeah. Mr. Bernluder, I don't think I'm ready to do it alone. Why don't you get yourself a couple of uniforms? Uniforms? Yes, that's just what Captain Claghorn suggested. Claghorn suggested that? I'm not surprised. If somebody doesn't follow the body, Mr. Bernluder, man could be in jeopardy. Well, I guess I could always die tomorrow. Then you'll do it with me? I gotta get my gun. Let's go. Is that it? No, it's a picnic lunch. Show me the money. Whoa, that's a whole lot more than we figured. I thought you might try and hold me up at the last minute. I'll save myself the extra trip. Show me the diamond. You better not belong to retrieve it. Beauty, isn't it? Where'd you get it? None of your business. Wrong, Mr. Ruby. I'm entitled to know. Says who? <coughs> Says this. What do you want? Simple introduction. To who? Clive Richards. You're nuts. Watch your language, or I'm gonna put you back on the street in dry ice. Yeah, I'm small time. He won't. Hey, tell him I got a half mil for complete chassis. And if I don't, I book you for murder. Get yourself a drink. Calm down. If Richards gets the impression we're conning him, why, we're going to be monkey meat. Try and act human. Anvil, it's Ruby. You remember me. Are you feeling all right? All right. I'm feeling something that I thought had gone forever. What's that? Adrenaline. <laughs> Thank you, Anvil. Mr. Richards. Mr. Shane. Can I offer you a drink? Oh, no, thank you. I believe you have a proposition. Well, it's like Ruby told you. I want a full set of parts from the same male donor. You must be... Athletic, non-smoker, non-drinker. I've got cash. Who do you represent? I'm not at liberty to divulge, except to say that he's on borrowed time. What's the problem? Old age. He's been running on spare parts for the last 10 years. Now he's got in his head that what he needs is a whole new interior. Well, that's a highly unusual request. You do understand that you'll have to pay a premium. The premium is in the briefcase. It's not as if we don't trust you. 
Oh. I'll need half the money down. You get the money upon delivery. No, do you? I'll give you half now on condition. What's that? I want to meet the donor. Why? You want to shake his hand? No, I uh, made a buy like this once before. Right body, substitute parts. Locally? Venezuela. Inferior merchandise. The water's substandard, the organs are muddy. You don't find bodies anywhere else like L.A. That's why I'm here. My client can't afford to get burned again. I want to inspect the goods. That's out of the question. Let me show you the door. Nice meeting you, Mr. Richards. Very well, Mr. Shane. You may have your introduction. Yes. Right away. Everything okay? The body's being delivered. We'll follow you. I think not. We'll take my car. There she goes. Party time. Will you parked your car? No. I just thought it would be nice before we got going if you were to tell me who you really are. I told you already. If you were for real, Ruby would be about to make $50,000. He'd be drooling, not sweating. Isn't that right, Ruby? Sooner or later, you'll tell me, and if you don't, Ruby will. Unless, of course, he wants to wind up selling his own thoughts. <laughs> He's a cop. Yeah. He made me do it, I swear to you. Yeah. <laughs> Think I can take off now? Not yet, Ruby. After all, someone has to fence these items. The major organs are probably substandard, but a policeman's adrenal gland uh, should bring a fair amount. Quite marvelous, this new generation of hand tools. And extraordinarily versatile, also. This little bone saw is wonderful with wood. I make furniture in my spare time. Did you have a hobby, Mr. Man? Yeah. Putting low eyes like you behind bars. Many years ago, I was asked as a personal favor to operate on a dying man. His son had obtained an illegal organ, but couldn't find a surgeon to risk it. I saved the man's life. How much did you charge him? I did it free. It was after that when they started beating on my door that everything changed. He saw a career opportunity. I'm a realist first, a scientist second. You can't do this sort of thing in your spare time. Not unless you call murder a hobby. Well, if it's any consolation to you, your death will mean life to many others. And a load of cash to you. Now this may sting a bit, but feel free to scream. No one can hear you. Ingrid, you're just in time. We may as well do them both together.
Anvil. On the front. Excuse me. I was just looking for the ladies. I didn't think I'd ever have this much fun again. <laughs> Going upstairs. I watch the door. He's the Like you're in a hurry, Doc. Gotta make a house call. Good and rude, Long time no transplant. Oh. 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 That old liver you gave me, that last one was a complete bust. I could have used that money for a farewell cruise. This little instrument will make your last transplant appear insignificant. Not this time, Don. <laughs> Scared of dying, Doc? You okay? Yes. time I had in 10 years. We get you to a hospital. You got another 10 years. Not like the last. You two gave me my life back. Even if it was only for a night. Thanks. Forget it. Forget it. Bobby. I know, I know. The ash thing. Bernroder wanted his ashes tossed into the sea in a wine bottle? Wine was uh, his beverage of choice. He said he could feel at home in a wine bottle. The sea? He always wanted to take a cruise to Mexico. And uh, Costa Rica, and Tierra de Fuego. And the handful of ashes you scattered at the racetrack this morning? Bernroder was uh, very find the ponies. And why the ashes in front of the Ivanhoe Lounge on 6th and Edsel? He used to play darts there. Anything else? Yes. The ashes you save for yourself. 
I guess it's a way of keeping somebody around when they're never going back. My body is primarily inflammable plastic compounds and alloyed metals. But if something should happen to me, I would be honored if you preserved me in the same fashion. You got a deal. What about you? Put me in your gun and uh, shoot me at the stars. Done. What's wrong with that damn bottle? It's coming back. The tide is coming in. Why didn't you tell me? Well, I've never seen anyone toss a bottle in the ocean before. I thought it was part of the ritual. Burn order won't be carried out to sea until tonight. 10.54 to be precise. He knew this was going to happen. He knew I had to come back. If you don't mind, I'll come back with you. stars in the international spy thriller Revolver, an NBC world premiere movie next, and Wednesday night... Hi, this is Jerry Seinfeld, and i got a surprise for you. This Wednesday, you get to spend an hour with me! Seinfeld's on for one whole hour, so come on along! Or not. Seinfeld, Wednesday on NBC.